Well, here we are backstage with the newly crowned winner. So let's just run through a couple Thank questions you. real quick. First off, congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, so if you just can, just tell me your name, where you're from, and then what you competed in today. My name is Larita Lactonin Ward, and I'm from Kodiak, Alaska. Uh, I live in Virginia right now, but next week I'm going to be living in North Carolina. That's exciting. <laughs> My husband's in the Army, so we're PCSing actually this week. So it's kind of a crazy week for me. What was the other question? Oh, I competed oh. in pro figure today. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, so do you have a coach or trainer? I actually coach myself. Everyone that's won today has, co has coached themselves. It's yes, crazy to and I see. kind of, you know, I think as you compete more and more, I've taken from a lot of good coaches and um, my husband, I work on his nutrition for him, but we work together educating ourselves and I learn more about my body so I think I can best adapt to you know what I want to achieve. So, and on an unrelated note, since y'all moved from army base to army base, is it hard to stay on track in terms of your own fitness goals and stuff? I guess the army kind of makes it easy because there's always nice gyms and good gyms and even when we're traveling we always find a hotel with a gym nearby or if we're on vacation we find a, a gym nearby so we stay on track. Yeah. Um, how long have you been competing for? I started competing when I was 35 and I've been competing for six years. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, and how long was this prep? This prep, okay. Well, I did the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania Pro Master Show, and that was in July. And so I started prepping for that show maybe the beginning of maybe mid May. Okay. Mid May. And then I did take a couple weeks downtime, still training, but not as intense nutrition, and then go right back into it for another 10 weeks. Wow. So, so it's been no. forever. Yeah, like, was, was that yeah. mid July, August? Since, since May. Wow. Yeah. Um, and did somebody make your suit today? Yes, actually, I should show it off. Um, suits by Jody. She's my sponsor. And she did this suit for me. Wow. And it actually has feathers. Yeah, my Native American crazy. heritage, and she did feather design, like browns and, and golds and yeah. turquoise. So I just love it. Awesome. Um, and so, what was Peak Week like for you? Peak Week. Well, um, you know, I just put my head down and tried. I stayed to myself as much as possible and just checked things off the list. I wrote a list um, about a week prior of everything I was going to accomplish as far as cardio each day, workouts each day, packing, I just would check things off one by one. Have we, you found with each competition it gets harder for that kind of thing, like that final week to no, dial it in? Um, no, I feel like it gets easier. Good. My first show ever was the hardest ever. And I think the first time I ever did um, no or low carbs for more than a couple of days, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> Yeah. And now I can just go five days without, you know, any starchy carbs. I'm wow. like, just protocol. no big deal. I have a kid. As long um, as I have my coffee. Is there anyone that you want to thank? And what was your greatest obstacle? Let's see. Um, I definitely want to thank my husband. He's been there for me through all of this. Trust me, like anyone who's competing, I have my ups and downs, you know. Some days you feel very confident, some days you don't. So he's just been very encouraging along the way. And he's been such a team for me as far as prepping meals and working out in the gym. Just a and disciplined partner. Yeah, he, he's a very disciplined partner. And as far as obstacles, I think... Um, Every show is going to have some obstacles, and you just have to roll with it. Last year for your Cup, I got second place in Pro Figure, in, uh, Figure B, and I got shingles a few weeks before the show, all on my leg, and I thought I wasn't going to do the show, and I ended up doing the show, and you know, this year we're moving, and it just shows you that everyone has something come up, and you just have to keep focused and just roll with it. That's a great way to think of it. Like there'll never really be a perfect There's prep, There's no I guess. perfect prep. Like you just have to just get through the steps and 
stay focused. Is there a next step for you or anything like that after this? Are you going to keep competing? In Hopefully. OCB? Yes, I'll definitely keep competing with OCB. And I plan on Yorton next year at this point. So. Nice. Yeah. That's exciting. And then do you have any other interests or passions outside of bodybuilding? Well, I love the outdoors. And when I came into the show today, I didn't have any expectations. I just said, you know, no matter what, I have family. And my family is very, very happy to be to spend time with my family. I'm so lucky for that. So, you know, no matter what I would have placed today, I still have a family and support system to go home to. So, as well as my team, Team True Life Fitness. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much. Have a safe trip. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am.